And growing up, I learned of kanji dam. Whenever I thought of the word dam, I would always remember kanji dam. But today we're exploring something that has gone beyond being a dam that provides electricity and holds water. But this time around, it's become some sort of tourist attraction. And we're talking about the Usman Dam, that is a man-made lake and has so much more to offer. So enjoy this piece. Are you new to the city of Abuja and seeking leisure time and some adventure? Do you need to make new friends and connect with nature's riches? Or do you want to explore the magnificent city and its amazing lifestyle and culture? Then a drive out to Mpape, where the largest man-made hydropower dam is situated, will be the legit answer. Just outside of Abuja metropolis, it felt wonderfully removed from the craziness of the city. After passing the hills and going through the dusty roads leading to the Usman Dam, the groups gathered to make camp and seek to an assortment of activities. Yes. Names of football clubs in Nigeria. Yes. Lobby Stars. El Kanemi. Plateau United. Chelsea. Aquarida. <laughs> <laughs> We hiked along the dam itself and then over the unique rocky terrain. It was a lit experience. The water was inviting as some guys took off their clothing and took a dive. While others took soothing Kano rides across the man-made lake. Usman Dam is a man-made dam which supplies the federal capital territory of Nigeria with both electricity and water. Located 25 kilometers from Abuja, on the way to the Kaduna Highway, and it's 6 kilometers up the Bwari Road. A visit to this epic dam will surely get you excited with a view of the sparkling, still and very clean body of water the darting fishes and also the gently stirring water. The serenity and peaceful nature of the environment and the sight of an island within the water body was far beyond what any would imagine. What a beauty. Usman Dam offers a wide range of activities one can be part of whilst there. From fishing, mountaineering, and of course, picnicking. It's a refreshing experience getting away from the city and taking in the fresh air. Also for exercising and living healthy and making friends. So if you wish to go somewhere this weekend, why not check out the Usman Dam in Abuja? report is quite fascinating to me because I know that Nigerians are a people, a group of people that like to travel and explore other cultures. But this time around, like we like to say, not every time travel abroad, sometimes travel within Nigeria. And this time we're exploring the option of a place called Kajuru Castle, built by a German expatriate between 1981 and 1989 in medieval Romanesque style. Enjoy. Kajuru Castle is a luxury resort built in an early medieval style at Kajuru village in Kaduna State, Nigeria. The Kajuru Castle isn't ancient. As a matter of fact, it isn't even African in the sense that it was built by an eccentric and visionary German businessman who lived in Kaduna at the time. It is a medieval house built to the ideas of the Middle Age. This is home away from home, like I said, home away from home in the middle of nowhere. It is a gorgeous masterpiece with breathtaking ambience that is sure to thrill every tourist or visitor as there is so much to see and do. But first, you would have to brave the mountain as the castle comfortably sits at the top of a rocky formation. At the end of your climb, the reward for your hard work will be a picturesque view of Kajuru village. The castle is a private lodge that covers 360 square meters with a capacity of up to 150 guests but only 12 can lodge in full comfort. This breathtaking architectural masterpiece is a tourist wonder of sorts. This is the key that leads us to every castle. And Kajuru Castle is not an exceptional. This key will grant us entrance into Kajuru Castle. This is how we go. Go ahead. Try this. Keep your phone. <laughs> The style is very European and clearly German with the baronial hall. 
complete with suits of armor. In the castle, there are bedrooms looking like dungeons and several towers with crenulated walls, fully equipped for luxury surf service and made up of a magnificent large stainless steel swimming pool and well-equipped kitchens. It is self-catering for those who can gain entry. Kajuru is the most appropriate place to visit for an awesome getaway. However, do not forget to pack the things you need as you cannot buy anything at the castle except for from adjoining villages circling the estate. The castle overlooks a vast, peaceful and picturesque savanna. It is a good place to have families and small private parties. The atmosphere is quite relaxing and conducive, but beware. There are also crocodiles in the moat protecting the castle gates and the road up to the castle requires a 4x4 vehicle. Located at about 45 kilometers from Kaduna on the southern Kashia road is the village of Kajuru. The imposing structure makes it conspicuous to all travelers. You cannot miss it. So I love this group. I love you all. I hope to have you back soonest as my guest for the full package. You can assess Kadru by road or by flying into Kaduna from any city in Nigeria via the Kaduna airport. Many often wonder if Kadru Castle does exist, while others wonder how such a magnificent and beautiful castle can be found in Nigeria. If you are a tourist looking to explore the city rather than spend all day at a hotel in Kaduna, you can visit one of the many tourist attractions in the state. This castle is Africa's best kept secret. At a time like this, when the nation is emphasizing the Buy Niger to strengthen the Naira movement, discovery of a location like this one cannot be timelier. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.